Happy Sandy Alcantara Day to all who observe. Some of you who listen to this podcast might follow me on Twitter. Um, if you do, you should know my affinity for this team and specifically this man, Sandy Alcantara. I'm actually wearing my Sandy jersey right now that our uh, Action Network producer Matt Mitchell bought for me after he lost the series bet to me earlier this year. I have a ton on him to win the Cy Young. If you want to argue that anyone else deserves the award, DM me on Twitter at Matt Tanner's Truth. I will change your mind. Back to the point. Corbin Burns is a hell of a pitcher, but did you know that his average exit velocity is up over two miles per hour this season? His average launch angle is up over two degrees. His average spin rate is down about 100 RPMs across all his pitches, and his numbers are down. His strikeouts are down, his walks are up, his ERA and XERA is like 3.15. And believe it or not, the fish are hitting the ball. Remember that team that went under their team total in like 20 straight games or something? The team scored 24 runs in their last five. And I'm also just really excited to fade the Brewers. 26 and 27 since August 1st. Um, on the flip side, the Marlins are 19 and 12 and Sandy starts the season. $100 better would be up $405 betting every single one of those starts. And as a final aside, yeah, the Brewers need to make the playoffs. They need a few wins down the stretch, but the entire point of this Marlins season is to get Sandy the National League Cy Young. I think the motivation factor is there for them. I don't need to go over his staggering statistics, you know, 220 innings, 2.30 ERA, 53% ground ball rate. Um, but it's not like the Brewers offense is all that good. Um, and if you want to talk about fading the public, 60% of the tickets are on the Brewers, just 40% of the handle. Value's good at plus uh, 140 in the first five and then plus 155 on the money line. I bet them to plus 146 and plus 138 respectively.